this morning Mr G had to leave home early because he had to go and work and so once I'm up I'm awake but I thought this would give me an opportunity to share my morning routine with you and to show you how I make my bulletproof coffee which is what I have where normally when Mr G isn't making the coffee for us because when he does or when we're having coffee together we'd make it with um, we always have freshly brewed coffee first thing in the morning or I do anyway because I can't stand the instant stuff I'll only have it if that's the only thing going but brewed coffee is good for me in the mornings and um, today I'll show you how I make my bulletproof coffee and the reason I have bulletproof coffee is basically because it's made with instead of milk instead of soya milk even or any milk I have it with about a teaspoon of coconut oil and a teaspoon of butter and you whiz it up all up together nothing else and because it's more fat than anything else what happens with the coconut oil is that it has a medium chain triglycerides basically it's a different form of fat and that goes straight to the liver instead of a lot of fats they need to be digested first for the body to use the energy the fat from coconut oil goes straight to the liver and gets used as any as energy by the body so it's really good for fast acting energy support instead of actually getting that fast energy from glucose because carbohydrates and glucose raises your insulin levels and when insulin is released what it does is to bring your blood sugar levels back down but with the energy from coconut oil it's fat it gets used up and there is no high spike of insulin so the other morning routine that I do is basically have a nice warm glass of water as warm as I can take it I first started doing it because I read that it's really good for for um, starting your digestive system for the day and flushing out your digestive system and that's where I started drinking my hot water but basically I found it really soothing on my digestive system and I've carried on doing it for many years now maybe that helps with my clear skin what do you think so this is the coconut oil that I use and I've used this now since ooh, about March time because they're really good and I'm not sure what the state of play is at the moment because since this pandemic going on it seems that everything has gone up in price but at the time it was cheaper than the rest and it's a litre jar and what I like is because it is a glass jar which means there's no likelihood of any plastic leaking into the coconut oil and so this was a jug that I used to use for storing my juices many many years ago I don't juice so often now because my teeth just got sensitive so basically I've got to the bottom of the jar so it's quite deep so that's why I'm using a knife to basically get a blob of coconut oil and that's as much as I'll use really that's about a teaspoon of coconut oil there so that goes in the jug and I also use butter to be honest I'd prefer Kerrygold butter because Kerrygold butter is made from cows that have been fed on on grass in naturally natural pasture but unfortunately because the shops where we are they do have Kerrygold but that's the salted Kerrygold and they don't have any unsalted version so again that's about just slightly over a teaspoon of butter 
mainly because it's uh, it's more to do with me trying to get a teaspoon of butter off the, the block more than anything so there you go and then and then oops that's so spilling it all over the place I am um, I think what I want to do is decant some because I want to be able to swirl the coffee and get as much of the coffee brewing basically as possible and just depress the plunger pour the coffee in and what I do is pull the, is pull the plunger out a little bit because otherwise all the water gets stuck behind the plunger and I want as much coffee as possible basically okay and now all we're going to do is use this little gizmo with the hand blender and blend it all together seconds or so of blending with a hand blender you can use other mixes if you want there is one that I would like to have if I could but that's just all to do with finances at the moment and it's on my wish list and that is the I will show it I'll put a link in the description down below of my wish list so when you make a cup of tea using a teapot you're meant to warm the teapot first using a bit of hot water that way when you put the tea in and brew the tea the, the pot is already warm so you're not losing heat because of a cold teapot so I started doing that especially on mornings like this so I didn't show you first but basically I put some hot water in my cup that way when I actually go to put my coffee in, the coffee isn't losing heat because of a cold cup or mug. bulletproof coffee and now it's back to bed as you can see it's quite misty out there's so beyond the trees on a clear day you'd see maybe I'll show it to you later you'd see the downs which is basically a little hill I'm not sure what they call it down but you can see how foggy it is because you can't really see beyond the trees and don't you just love the colours it's a bit foggy because it's really pretty cold out there I think it's only about two or three degrees and you can see the mist coming from downstairs beautiful isn't it so I've had a really nice relaxed morning in bed with my coffee but now it's time to get on with the day and I have a 10 o'clock Zoom call with another nutritionist this morning. Well, she got in touch with me via social media and I'm not really sure what she's looking for. So it would be interesting to share some ideas and find out whether she wants to collaborate with something. But this morning I am feeling a bit hungry and I've had my coffee and I guess I don't, I never realised how much sugar soya milk has after about 10 days of just having my coffee with soya milk and i've had the bulletproof coffee this morning 
I feel a bit shaky and jittery namely because I haven't had any sugar in my system this morning from soya milk so I've got about an hour or probably half an hour to make breakfast and eat it before I actually make myself presentable for my zoom chat so this morning I am going to have a really simple basically two eggs scrambled eggs and being naughty I know but I've had a thing for croissants in the past week or so so I'm gonna have a croissant with it afterwards as well on the trees rather. Isn't it beautiful? 